I'm Hannah Keeley. And I'm stressed out! Okay, we're going to be talking about stress today, whether yep. you realize that or not. It's the challenge number four. Yeah, in the we're going to talk a little bit about stress. I'm Blair, by the way. Uh, yes, I am. Um, so today, in today's world, we live very high stress lifestyles. Um, we have stress that um, gets at us from, from the perspective of our careers. Uh, we have sometimes... Um, our marriages? Yes, in the home sometimes <laughs> there's stress, through school, through all the different things Everything. that we do in, in life. Raising kids. Right. Stress ah! levels are probably at an all-time high. Um, and one of the things that happens when you are very, very stressed is um, hormones are released in your body yes. that actually... Um, stress hormones. Yes, they are stress hormone hormones. 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 Um, hormones. Stress hormones that are released in your body that actually um, create cravings, mm -hmm. right? So if you if you take just a second and look way back in history when uh, people were still um, having to hunt to survive, um, you know when stress actually um, you know came into their life, it was because something you know they had to survive. Yeah, they had to figure out some way to survive. And so one of the things that your body does in order to help you survive is says, you know what, you need to eat. Yeah. You need to get some food in your in your body. Well, you know, our, our bodies have, have um, not changed that much from those days. It's still very brilliant. I mean, it knows exactly what to do. Your body knows exactly what to do. When you get stressed, your body says, I got to eat something, yeah. right? So one of the things that uh, we want to make sure that uh, we figure out how to do is to quell those cravings. And one of the ways that your body gets rid of those hormones is through sleeping. Yes. Yes. Sleep is actually the only thing that can break down things like uh, cortisol, which is a stress hormone, in your body and flush it out of your system. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't get enough sleep, you are going to be hold, not, not just holding on to fat, but you're also going to be continuing these cravings. And it's not your fault. It, it's just your body doing what it does best, trying to survive. So it's looking for the highest form of calories, which is always fat and sugar. And that's why we're like, oh, I'm stressed out. I just need some ice cream or something like right. that. Right. It's the stereotypical. You see people get stressed out because of relationships, because of their job. What's the first thing that they go do? They'll go have a big you know, bowl of ice cream or they right. want a big beer or something like that. That's, that's one of those things that yeah. just... Um, you know, there, there's ways to get rid of that and yes. sleep is obviously... So, yes, we've got to get more yeah. sleep. Now, I am not saying you need to sleep in every day. Um, mm -hmm. You need to practice self-discipline and set a bedtime. I know I feel like mama saying, you got to go to bed, it's your bedtime. But that's basically what you've yep. got to do. Because with the invention of electricity, we are now, you know, when the world gets dark, that's our signal to our body, all right, it's time to close your eyes and go to sleep. It's been that way for eons and eons and eons. Now, very recently, we have electricity, so we can stay up watching TV, on our computers, whatever, till, you know, all hours of the night. That is not healthy for our bodies. We will retain fat. We'll keep craving. So, set a bedtime. And it may not feel natural to you to go to bed, I don't know, 9, 30, 10, whatever. But make it a ritual. And one thing you can even do is like have some chamomile tea or something like that. I'm not a tea drinker particularly, but it's nice to have around the house. Um, so maybe set a ritual. Like maybe you can have a warm bath, a cup of tea, and head to bed with the mm -hmm. book or something like that. So we are telling you, go to bed and get some sleep. Go to bed. You don't have to go to sleep immediately. But get to bed and get some sleep sleep. That's very important. It will help you flush out those stress hormones and get rid of the fat and the cravings. Yep. So we got an awesome challenge for you tomorrow. It's going to be so cool and I'm excited about it. So make sure you check back here for challenge number five tomorrow in the six weeks shape up. Yep. We're going to have a new set. We're not going to be in this set. I'm setting We're not? Right. No, we're going to be in a different I set. I love this.